Uh, Jamil Jaffa <laughs> yeah. is joining me now. He's on the right-hand side of the screen. In 2016, Russia and China held disinformation campaigns to sway and radicalize American voters. Is that what we're seeing now from China, Russia and Iran? Are they exploiting these protests? Well, it certainly seems like it's true. What we're seeing online is we're seeing them amplifying these messages, suggesting that the U.S. is riven with social chaos and disorder, uh, that this is what happens in democratic societies, uh, people that people are at, each, at one another's throats, and they're trying to amp up that pressure. We don't see any evidence right now that they're actually funding the protests or supporting them, but what we do see is an effort to amplify their messaging and amplify the idea uh, that we're riven with chaos here in the United States. Who, is that, who exactly is radicalizing our youth on campus? Well, look, it's the Iranians, it's the Russians, it's the Chinese. It's all of our adversary nations who want to see the U.S. torn apart and want to see the U.S. disagreeing with one another so we're not concentrating on the problems that they're causing in the Middle East, but in Asia, and around the globe. It's the professors and the college teachers that are doing it as well, surely. Well, there's no doubt that's true. We just saw at a couple of these campuses uh, faculty calling for divestment as well. They've been the ones having us these protests. You've seen them get arrested as well. Um, it's one thing when you're engaged in peaceful disobedience. There's a long American tradition of that. It's another thing when you're threatening other students on campus using anti-Semitic phrasing and the like. That's the problem here is that we're going to that level, and that's where this crosses the line from peaceful debate, political debate, into violence and chaos. Uh, the president called Japan xenophobic because they do not wish to take in immigrants. Why would Biden say something negative like that when Japan, I think, has just become one of our best allies in Asia? No, you're exactly right. He actually said it about, about Japan and India, both members of the Quad, that's us, the United States, Australia, Japan, and India, the very alliance that's sort of holding up the effort against the Chinese who are trying to dominate the region, uh, taking out two of those allies and calling them xenophobic, very problematic statement by the president, and odd because he lumped them in with Russia and China, two nations you don't usually think about uh, India and Japan aligning themselves with. Is law and order and public disorder, as we have in America today, is that now becoming the major issue in November, maybe ahead of inflation and the border? What do you think? Well, you know, Stuart, it's hard to imagine how uh, economics couldn't be the number one issue, but law and order is probably number two, and you can see across the country in cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, yeah. Detroit, Cities are in chaos. D.C., right near where I live, cities are in chaos because mayors and, and law enforcement officials and D.A.s are not prosecuting basic laws. The American people won't stand for it. You can't live in a city and not be safe. Jamil Jaffa, thanks for being with us. See you again real soon.